What's up, you guys? So for decades, Wendy Williams had been sounding the alarm about the dark side of Diddy, pulling back the curtain on his use of force and violence to manipulate people in the music industry. But despite her claims and photograph receipts dating back to the 90s, a lot of people brushed her off as just stirring the pot and trying to get ratings. From accusing Diddy of using his power to control his artists and orchestrate her firing from Hot 97, to calling out his toxic relationships, Wendy told us the truth about Diddy way before people were ready to believe it. And as more stories about Diddy's private life come out, it's worth noting that Wendy was right this whole time. The world just wasn't ready to believe her. Wendy Williams has openly discussed her tense encounter with the R&B group Total, which was signed to Diddy's Bad Boy Records in the 1990s. Wendy claimed that Diddy sent the group to confront her outside her radio station, seemingly in response to her comments about them being broke and living in the projects despite being signed to a major record label. According to Wendy, the members of Total waited outside the Hot 97 radio station where she worked, and if it weren't for her then-boyfriend, now ex-husband, the altercation might have escalated into physical violence. The group reportedly arrived in a cab prepared to jump her, but the situation was diffused before it got out of hand. And Wendy has referred to them as three fighting broads and claimed that the whole incident was a result of Diddy's influence over them and him using them to retaliate against her for exposing how he steal from his artists, among other things. U.S. Weekly reports, Wendy recounted the experience in 2005 during her radio show, The Wendy Williams Experience, and again in a 2019 episode of her talk show. She said, quote, once upon a time, there was a music mogul who sent his all-girl group to beat me in front of the radio station. Fact. I finished my shift, round up my headphones, put my bag on my arm, and I see everybody lined up at the window looking down on the sidewalk. I find this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab to come after me. To beat me. For what? You know what I said was true. You all were broke and you were living in the projects and that was that. The source reports on a recent episode of Comedian, quote unquote, comedian Andrew Schultz's flagrant podcast, the Breakfast Club co-host and culture critic Charlemagne the God alleges that Diddy got talk show host Wendy Williams fired from Hot 97 over claims that the bad boy founder was romantically involved with men. Charlemagne delves into the almost 30 year history between his mentor, Wendy Williams and Diddy. He said, quote, Wendy's whole thing was Diddy was gay. That's why Wendy got fired from Hot 97. Wendy got fired from Hot 97 by Diddy because that's when Bad Boy was smoking hot. She got fired for putting that out there. Wendy Williams supposedly had a photograph of Diddy in an intimate situation with another man, suggesting that Diddy was physically involved with men, which ultimately got her fired from the radio station in 1998. Former bad boy bodyguard Gene Deal spoke out about Wendy Williams firing in a 2022 interview with The Art of Dialogue. He said, quote, the power Diddy had with the radio stations in New York, MFers didn't breathe hard if Diddy didn't want them to. Diddy got one of the hottest DJs off Hot 97 because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. Diddy told Hot 97 if they didn't get rid of her before he got back in New York, that they was not going to get any music from any of his friends, any of the record label executives that was cool with him. Everyone was going to boycott their station. In her 2004 book, The Wendy Williams Experience, she wrote that she had, quote, a certain level of contempt for Puff because he single-handedly tried to ruin her career. She said, quote, the hell he put me through. I will never forget but I don't hate him. And in her 2013 Vlad TV interview, Wendy Williams touched on the fallout she experienced after speaking about a gay rapper, quote unquote rapper, during her radio career. While Wendy didn't name the rapper, she explained that she was burned at the stake for discussing the topic as it was highly controversial within the hip hop community at that time. She said that revealing that type of information in the 90s led to a lot of professional consequences, including her firing from Hot 97. 
As far as Diddy and Cassie's relationship, Wendy Williams made several remarks over the years suggesting that Diddy was controlling in his relationship with Cassie Ventura. During a 2015 episode of The Wendy Williams Show, Wendy expressed her concerns about the power dynamics in their relationship given Diddy's much older age and influential status. Wendy speculated that Diddy had a controlling hold over Cassie, saying that dating a mogul like Diddy made it hard for someone to escape that person. Like Cassie literally couldn't escape from Diddy on her own. And Wendy joked that Diddy could easily track her down wherever she was, even implying that he could pay off hotel staff to get access to her room. She said, quote, my thing about when you date a mogul, it's a really difficult thing to avoid them because if you use your head, you never know when they'll pop up on the scene. Wendy Williams reconciled with Diddy when Diddy appeared on the Wendy Williams show in 2017. Wendy, known for being outspoken, directly addressed their past tension by acknowledging that she had upset a lot of people over the years, including Diddy. And she called the interview a full circle moment and said that despite their rocky past, it was important for them to have this conversation. And Diddy accepted her olive branch and the two shared an open discussion where he even revealed personal stories, including his regret over the events leading up to the death of his close friend, Notorious B.I.G. And I think I've shared before with y'all on this channel how I feel about that. I feel like he was involved with that as well as Tupac. That's my personal opinion. He was behind a lot of things. In any case, after that interview, Wendy continued to discuss Cassie and Diddy's relationship, especially after Cassie and Diddy broke up. In 2018, she criticized Diddy's public attempt to reconcile with Cassie through social media, calling it manipulative. She said that if Diddy genuinely cared for Cassie, he should have reached out privately rather than making grand public gestures. And now that Diddy has been completely exposed, the Wendy audience is just wanting the old Wendy back for just one more episode to talk about Diddy and the baby oil freak-offs the way only Wendy could. So y'all leave a comment and share your thoughts on Diddy trying to ruin Wendy's career and her making it anyway. Do you think he's one of the reasons Wendy felt like she had to marry the type of man that she married? And what do you think Wendy would be saying about Diddy now? What would Wendy say? <laughs> leave a comment and share your thoughts. What's up, you guys? It's Layla Lynn, and I am letting you in on something that has made my life so much easier, and that is Audible. As a content creator, I'm always busy. Like, I'm always busy either creating content or doing something with my kids or just doing something. But with Audible, I can keep my mind engaged and entertained no matter what else I'm doing. And personally, I love listening to audiobooks and podcasts without having to stop what I'm doing and like flip pages. Audible is a membership service that provides you with the world's largest selections of audiobooks, along with the podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. Your Audible membership is completely free for the first 30 days. And you can listen anytime, anywhere with the free Audible app on your iPhone or your Android device or even on Alexa-enabled devices, Kindles, and more. So if you enjoy your free trial, you just let it keep going and your membership will automatically continue. Audible will send you an email reminder before your trial ends, just so you know. So don't worry if you decide it's not for you. You can cancel anytime and you do have that reminder and you won't be charged. So there's no commitment and no cancellation fee. And it is for you to enjoy. So if you are like me and you want to make the most of your time while you're busy, try Audible with the free trial. Click the link in the description box to start your free trial. And let me know what you're listening to. Layla, 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 tell us it all.